Hey everyone, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts. Got a fast video here, real fast, on updating the firmware on the Zygu X108G. I have done several videos on this unit, and I'm now going to do the firmware update, which apparently adds a SWR graph uh, function, where it'll show you the SWR curves at the frequency you're on. So amongst fixing a couple other little bugs, we're going to go ahead and do this real quick. I have not done it yet, so we're going to do it together. Uh, what I will say before we do anything is you need to make sure you get in a Yahoo group or a Facebook group or something and make sure you find the appropriate firmware for your unit. You will damage it. There's an outdoor version, there's an indoor version, and it's based on the serial number. If the serial number starts with zero, you're going to have one kind. If it starts with a one like mine, you're going to have another kind. Make sure you get the right firmware. So the first thing you're going to do, I have it powered on right now. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to hold the function, the uh, channel selector, I'm going to hold that in and turn it back on. And let go. And it's going to come up and say, enter bootloading mode. Enter bootloader. Let's see if I can zoom out so you can see that. All right. Now, uh, what we got to do is plug in the USB cable. And I'll show you what happens on the computer. When you're at this step, plug in the USB cable. which will be now you can see it's flash erasing flash erase okay what you're gonna do now after you downloaded your firmware and extracted it somewhere I extracted mine in the x108g firmware here okay there's a new firmware and what you're gonna do is when you plug that in after you're in this process you'll see a X108 update hard drive. Go ahead and go in here, delete this file, and then you're going to copy the file you downloaded to it, like this. Now on the radio I see writing flash. Update done, please reset your rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the USB and I'm going to turn the radio off and I'm going to turn it back on and hope <laughs> that this thing turns on. Here we go. There it is. Now, um, where is this SWR? I'm guessing it is, let's see, those look the same. Those look the same. Those look the same. Those look the same. There it is. SWR function three. Now that is into a dummy load. So it shows flat. Uh, let's see what it looks like on an antenna. Let's see what it looks like on 40 meters on my vertical. Yeah, there it is. Check it out. So it's spanning from, let's see, 6.4 megahertz to 7.6. Um, and it shows you my SWR is at 7.076. Oh, I can move it. Cool. And it rescans. Look at that. See, so there's my center frequency in the middle. So if I go down to bottom end of the CW, so my antenna is actually flat or low on, you know, SWR is uh, one to one right at 6.9. So I'm a little short. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back here to, let's see, let's go to 15 meters. There's 15 meters, so at 21, CW portion, let's see, go up the phone portion, coming down a little bit. Yeah, so I'm like around 2 to 1. Now I'm not sure how accurate that is, because i got to run it on the analyzer, but we'll, we'll check that out later and see exactly how accurate that is. But it's a cool feature if you're out in the field, 
Um, the, the best thing would be if I had my, uh, one of my BNC antennas on the back of it. I could see exactly what my SWR is, and if I need to go longer or shorter, that's going to make it superb. So thanks for watching, and uh, a great addition with the newest firmware. 7.3 from KJ4YZI.